Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life. Ha <laughs> ha, in a crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. I'm so excited for you. Why? Because you and I are playing a game that 99.99% of the masses <laughs> don't even know is being played. And we are winning, my friends. We are winning. Listen, guys, the market is doing what the, <clears throat> excuse me, what the market does. We'll get into that. Chris Larson <laughs> is in the news. Change the code, not the climate. That is some interesting stuff coming from Chris Larson. This guy, it, uh, listen, I mean, it is all over crypto, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere talking about that. That's some interesting stuff for sure. Kind of falls in line with what's going on with the White House and that executive order. It really, really does. You can say this ESG, you can look to the executive order. Interesting stuff. We'll go over some of that um, as well. Very, very interesting. Ethereum bridge got hacked. And I'm thinking the numbers is close to three quarters of a billion dollars. Hmm. Everon, you guys better get get to uh, level up your knowledge. I'm telling you on freaking Everrise, I really, really believe that that uh, that that um, entity has come into this marketplace, <laughs> you know, with a solution to a big time problem. And for me in business, that spells huge success. It really, really does. Number one, find out where everyone else is going and get there first. And when you show up, number two, show up with an answer to a challenge or problem or situation in that freaking industry. And that is what Everize is doing. I really, really firmly, firmly, firmly believe that. In any case, guys, do your homework, do your own homework, do your due diligence. This is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to freaking 10 minutes. Let's do it. So the total currency, cryptocurrency market cap is 2.23 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 40.2%. Awesome. Bitcoin is at $47,291 at the time of this recording. Uh, Ethereum is $3,395, up 17% on the seven day. Bitcoin is actually up 15% on the seven day as well. So XRP is at 85 cents. That is awesome. A lot of double figure greens, man. Cardano's at 29% on the seven day at $1.18. Terra, boom. Well, Solana is up 23% on the seven day at $109.52. I just discovered today that Solana NFT, Solata, Solana, NFTs are moving to open C in April. I like that. I have a few of those salon NFTs. I like it. I am excited about that. Polka dots up double figures on the seven days, 17.5%, $22. Shout out to Polka Dex. Dogecoin's up 23, 20.3%. It's at 14 cents currently. A lot of double figure freaking green. Shiba Unu's up 6.5% at 26,000 Satoshis. Kronos is up 18.9%, might as well say 19% on the seven day at 48 cents. That is awesome to see. So the market is moving. We got to get to that 3 trillion though. Got to get to 3 trillion. Polygon's up 13.7% at $1.67. Yeah, so great, great, great to see. Ethereum Classic up 25, might as well say 26%. On the seven day, it's a forty-eight dollars. We, could, you know, we want to get back to that sixty dollars and beyond Ethereum Classic. Let's go, let's go, baby. Stella us at twenty-three cents, up thirteen percent on the seven day. Uh, hot freaking waves again, up fifty-three percent on the seven day. Shout out to USDN, the decentralized stable coin. Don't need anyone's permission to gather that thing. $49.34 for the wage token. Again, the USDN is on that platform. It's their stable coin. Decentralized. Decentralized. Interesting to see B Chain up 40%. B Chain's making their moves. <clears throat> B Chain is making their moves. We got rid of B Chain at six cents, I think. We had it for you know for a long while. A long, long while. Decentraline is even up 10% on the seven day at $2.67. Uh, Thor chain up 42% at $12.36. So it's up 42% on the seven day. 
Phantom is up 12% on the seven day at $1.42. So a lot of double figure greens. Tezos got rid of Tezos. We have a little bit of Tezos. Done, done with Tezos. Done, done with Tezos. Uh, it's at $3.78. And uh, Ave is 215 $215. Interesting to see how they do its thing up 39% on the seven day. I mean, we got 30% gains. We got 40% gains on the seven day. Unbelievable. Eight coins up 30% at $13.62. I mean, 40% gains, 30% gains, 50% gains. The market, look at Convex, it's uh, finance is up 44.5%. At $29.21. Love Convex Finance. Love that platform. I liken it to a savings account. Loop ring up 52% on the seven day and a dollar 26. Guys, the market is doing what the freaking market does. <laughs> Zillica is up 128%, man. Shout out to Zillica and those who hold it and who held it. I hope we could create it again. I hope we created some new 1%. Pocket Network, don't know what it is, but it's up 61%. And the MENA protocol is uh, up 25%. That rounds up the top 100, guys. Let's get into some of this interesting stuff on Twitter here. Uh, Chris Larson tweeted this out. Warren Davidson apparently responded to it. Last year, I published an op-ed calling for Bitcoin to consider a move away from proof of work to a low energy validation method, a low energy validation method. Today, I'd like to share an update on how my thinking has evolved on this front. Warren Davidson responded to such a tweet. I think this is Warren Davidson, says this is Twitter account. In other words, he's saying, in other words, please ban Bitcoin. Hmm. While I still believe moving to a low energy consensus mechanism is the most climate friendly long term solution, I recognize that it's no easy feat. Today, the United States hosts 40% of the hash rate. <clears throat> Climate conscious miners like Graphon Mining, Argo Blockchain, and Riot Blockchain strive to use 100% renewables and be responsible actors, shutting off power when grids are overloaded, etc. <clears throat> I applaud their efforts. On the other hand, plenty of miners are repurposing old coal and gas plants and not being responsible stewards of the amount of power they, they're increasingly using. Jacking up energy bills for residents, sucking power from the grid, regardless of overload. This is unacceptable. The time for change is now. As prominent capital market participants drive crypto liquidity, ESG and sustainability will only become more front and center. And I believe someone pointed this out. Let me see if I can find that tweet. Yeah, it's right here. So let me read this again, then I'm gonna go to the, just briefly to this article. The time for change is now says Chris Larson, as prominent capital market participants drive crypto liquidity, ESG and sustainability will only become more front and center. ETH, the second largest market cap for now, recognized this early on and is very close to switching to proof of stake. So someone pointed this out here, and I think it's very important to point out. So Coindesk puts this article up, right? The Bitcoin community is reacting harshly and incredulous, incredulously to a planned ad campaign by Ripple co-founder and chairman Chris Larson and Greenpeace USA that would push a code change to reduce the largest cryptocurrency's energy use. So there's somebody here, Eliza, reports. Can't forgive me, I can't say a And then Baba put this out. I think this is interesting. Bab at Baba Cubs, does the Bitcoin community even read? This is from the executive order. The United States has an interest in ensuring that digital asset technologies and the digital payments ecosystem are developed, designed, and implemented in a responsible manner that includes privacy and security in their architecture. The United States has an interest in ensuring that digital asset technology and digital payments uh, ecosystems are developed and integrates features and integrates features and controls 
that defend against illicit exploitation and reduces negative climate impacts and environmental pollution. As may result from some cryptocurrency mining. This is coming from the White House in the executive order. They're going to be looking into this. They're going to want platforms, businesses, whatever it is, to integrate features and controls that reduce negative climate impacts and environmental pollutions. And they, i.e., example, cryptocurrency mining. as may result from some cryptocurrency mining. He's pointing out what Chris Larson is stating. The White House executive order is pointing it out. They're moving that way. We need short-term solutions as well. Even if a move from proof of work happened eventually, Bitcoin is and remain hugely important for crypto globally. See, no one reads, no one reads. Ryan Selke's definitely not reading. Definitely not taking the time to read. 100%. You got to get the real deal. Just look at consensus. Look at Masari. Just got to understand the real deal. We need short-term solutions as well. Even if I move away from proof of work happened eventually, Bitcoin is and remain hugely important for crypto globally. Bitcoiners, I know many of you may not believe this, but I am not trying to work against you here. And it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter because people just have, they, they, they hear what they want to hear. They have selective, right, listening and they hear what they want to hear, especially in, in, especially in this case, Ryan Selke. Look, when you, when, if, if, if your bills and or if your publications and or if any kind of thing you got going on media is being paid by consensus, Mr. Selkies, what else are you going to say? You point to fraud and scams and bad CEOs, but you never bring up the ICO that took place with Ethereum when there is a 12-year-old could get how corrupt and lack of transparency took place in that ICO. And then you throw in the whole e-gate that the United States government decided to do. The United States government had a choice to make, and they decided <laughs> to, give, to pick a winner and a loser. The United States government did it. Right, but the likes of Juba, Joseph Lubin walked into those doors, and you can't negate it. He walked into the doors. He is on video recording, saying, "You can disguise who you are if you're well. Disguise it. How is that not upstanding? How is that not fraudulent? How do you not recognize that if you want to get on a high horse about CEOs and other platforms? How do you not acknowledge?" that scathing video, Mr. Selkies. How do you not acknowledge that? It's just BS, right? 10,000% BS. Very interesting read from um, Chris Larson. Uh, very interesting thread, I should say. Uh, today's crypto industry is blessed with incredible talent, unlimited capital, and is on a mission to make the world better. I truly believe it can turn this climate control into a solution. I agree. What if miners were incentivized? This is one suggestion. What if miners were incentivized to remove carbon from the atmosphere? Miners pledging 100% green energy use is a great start, but in my opinion, not a foolproof long-term solution because proof of work simply incentivizes finding the cheapest energy, not what is the right thing to do. What's to stop a petrol state like Russia from liquidating fossil fuel reserves. 
So even with responsible players, there will always be an incentive to seek out the greatest amount of the cheapest energy, the greatest amount of the cheapest energy. If renewables are prioritized, slant wanted, and fossil fuels not, could suddenly turn the ladder into a subsidized cheap energy course, uh, source. So in any case, interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. So, but again, you know, people get in the feelings, they don't take the time to fully read, they 10,000%, anyone, I tweeted this out, uh, um, uh, to, to Ryan Selkis, I actually retweeted something. The obvious bias, the obvious blinders to what Ethereum, uh, Ethereum's Joseph Lubin did. The, the, the blindness to it from Ryan is beyond, beyond, beyond. It just points to the, 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 the fact that the, what happened was an illegal ICO. He doesn't ever, ever speak to, will never acknowledge that it was an ICO. Never. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to end this video like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Listen, old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I are already winning. Have a great rest of the day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.